بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته رمضان مبارك ان شاء الله may these last few days that we have be blessed ones for you may your whole month be a great blessing and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of our prayers and our night prayers and our fasting inshallah may Allah accept our recitation I want to say, first of all, just that Laylat al-Qadr is one of the great gifts that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave this ummah. It's worth a thousand uh, months of ibadah. And so this was as a way of compensating for the previous communities that had much longer times and more barakah in their time also uh, because they weren't as preoccupied with so many things that modern people are. So it's, it's a day and a night that really we should try to take advantage of. It's sought in the last 10, according to a hadith, in a hadith it's muttafaqun alayhi in Imam al-Bukhari and Muslim, the last seven nights, and particularly the odd nights. And then there are many of our scholars, including the great uh, translator of the Quran, uh, Ibn Abbas, who felt that it was on the 27th night. Uh, the sign of it is that the sun will rise the following morning without any rays, it will be very clear. And, and I've seen that myself. I've, I've felt that there was a layer of the Qadr and I went out and looked. So it's not necessarily on the 27th and we should never uh, uh, limit it to that day because the Prophet said taharru, like seek it in the last 10 nights and particularly the odd nights. So don't miss the blessing of all the nights and particularly the odd nights and particularly the 27th night. And finally, I just want to thank uh, all of our supporters. We have been just incredibly blessed. There's a lot of things that I'd like to do. If I had more capacity, I could do more things, but I have to be absolutely grateful. This community has been so generous uh, with Zaytuna College. Uh, we have just beautifully loyal supporters that see the importance of it and also see the fact that we're caretakers that we will move on, we're stewards for a time, we're building something so that others don't have to build it after us. If it was here, uh, it would have been much easier for me uh, to just be in an institution where I could just teach, but we've built it so that others after us won't have to build it. So I hope uh, that you all continue to support us. May Allah bless you, may Allah bless your wealth, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unify the hearts of our community and also the hearts of the greater community. There's a lot of dissension, not only among the Muslims, but we see dissension around the world. And this is all from Iblis and the, the, the message of Laylat al-Qadr is multitudes of angels descend upon us. And what do they say? Salam, peace. And peace is wholeness, peace is unity, peace is well-being. And it's very far from dissension, from enmity, from animosity, and from disunity. So the Prophet ﷺ said, and none of you will enter paradise until he or she believes, and none of you will truly believe until you love one another. And then he said, can I tell you something? That if you practice it, love will grow amongst you. And they wanted to hear, and the Prophet said, Afshu salam bainakum, spread peace amongst you. That's the message of Laylatul Qadr. Salamun. هي حتى مطلع الفجر